Welcome back to Manchester United Fans Answered, where we attempt to answer United's fans' most burning questions. In today's episode, we explore one of the most significant issues Manchester United have faced as a club in recent times, as we investigate the rise and fall of Mason Greenwood. The Red Devils have a famous reputation for producing some of the world's most exciting young talents. The club's most legendary managers, Sir Alex Ferguson and Sir Matt Busby, were renowned for their commitment to giving youth players the opportunity to prove themselves on the world stage. Sir Matt once said, It's every manager's dream, I suppose, to build a team by coaching young players of 15 to 17. That's why I started a youth scheme. People get the impression that we approach football without method. That we're a bunch of skilled individualists. This just isn't so. Busby's youth scheme bloomed into one of the most successful football academies the sports world has ever known, with players such as Ryan Giggs, Bobby Charlton, Paul Scholes, David Beckham, George Best and Marcus Rashford. The most recent United star boy to come out of the academy joined the club at the age of just six. Born in Bradford, Mason Greenwood quickly progressed through the academy ranks due to his explosive pace, close control and lethal finishing as well as a very rare ability to use both his left and right foot. Greenwood's performances for the under-18 team even grabbed the attention of the manager Jose Mourinho, who asked the head of the academy and former player Nicky Butt if he could train with the first team, but was denied due to rules and regulations restricting 15-year-olds joining the first team sessions. Greenwood's first call-up in the Manchester United first team came in July 2018 at the age of just 17, when he travelled with the squad on their pre-season tour of the United States and made his non-competitive debut as a 76-minute substitute in a 1-1 draw against Club America. Mason impressed during the tour, proving despite his age he could compete with the club's best players. Therefore, in October, Greenwood signed his first professional contract with the club. On March 6, 2019, under the management of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, Greenwood made his competitive debut as an 87th-minute substitute in United's famous 3-1 victory over Paris Saint-Germain in the Champions League. At the age of 17 years and 156 days, he became the second youngest player to represent the club in European competition, behind only Norman Whiteside and the youngest ever in the Champions League era. Four days later, he made his Premier League debut from the bench in a 2-0 defeat to Arsenal to become one of the club's youngest league deputants. Mason's first personal achievement came at the end of 2018-2019 season as he received the Jimmy Murphy Young Player of the Year award given each year to the best player in the club's youth teams. However, the year only got better for the English youngster as he made his first senior start for the club on the final day of the season in a 2-0 defeat to Cardiff City. The following season would be Greenwood's breakthrough as he scored his first United goal in their Europa League opener against Kazakhstan's side Astana on 19th of September, scoring the only goal of the game to become the club's youngest ever goal scorer in European competition at the age of 17 years and 353 days. On November 7th, he scored again in United's 3-0 win over Partizan Belgrade, helping the team qualify for the knockout stages of the competition. Greenwood's star performance in the final game of the Europa League group stage against AZ Alkmaar as he scored twice and won a penalty in a domain 4-0 victory, securing the top spot of their group. Greenwood's brilliant performances secured his name as one of the first on the team sheet, and after a three-month suspension from football caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, Greenwood played in all six of United's matches as of 9th of July 2020. Mason failed to score in the first three, but proved the critics wrong by putting away a total of four goals in the next three, including a brace in a 5-2 win against Bournemouth on 4th of July. After that, he scored against Aston Villa, making him the fourth player aged below 19 to score in three consecutive Premier League appearances, and the first since Francis Jeffers did so for Everton in 1999. Greenwood's breakout season caught the attention of England manager Gareth Southgate, and on the 25th of August 2020, Greenwood was named in the England senior squad for the first time. He made his debut on the 5th of September in a 1-0 away win over Iceland in the 2020-2021 UEFA Nations League A match, coming on as a 78th-minute substitute. However, Greenwood's off-the-pitch behaviour became an issue for the first time on the 7th of September, when Greenwood, along with England teammate Phil Foden, was withdrawn from the England squad after breaking COVID-19 quarantine guidelines in Iceland by leaving part of the hotel that the England squad was occupying with widespread media reports alleging Greenwood and Foden had met two women in another part of the hotel. 
In the 2020-2021 season, Mason Greenwood was honoured with the squad number 11, with the club's hierarchy hoping he would follow in the footsteps of club legend Ryan Giggs, who previously had worn the number and also came through the Manchester United Academy, going on to become the club's record appearance maker with an unbelievable 963 appearances. Greenwood did not buckle under this pressure and excelled in the right attacking position, scoring 12 goals and providing 6 assists, helping the club finish second in the Premier League, their joint best finish since Sir Alex Ferguson retired in 2013. His stellar season earned him the reputation of England's football's next star, with many comparing him to former legendary Manchester United striker Robin Van Persie due to his rocket-like shots after cutting in from the wing. Mason started the 2021-2022 season picking up where he left off, netting 5 goals and an assist in 18 games. However, the world was about to come crashing down on the youngster. On the 30th of January, a series of social media posts appeared on Greenwood then-girlfriend Harriet Robson's Instagram account. These posts include graphic pictures of Harriet with bruises and injuries and captions suggesting Greenwood was responsible, as well as videos containing audio which Greenwood is heard abusing Harriet and threatening sexual and physical violence. Greenwood was arrested by the Greater Manchester Police on suspicion of rape and assault on the same day, then was further arrested on suspicion of sexual assault and threats to kill on the 1st of February. The next day, Greenwood was released on bail, however the fallout quickly began to affect his career as Nike suspended his sponsorship of the player, EA Sports removed Greenwood from their FIFA video games and most significantly, Manchester United suspended Mason until further notice, officially stating, we are aware of images and allegations circulating on social media. We will not make any further comments until the facts have been established. Manchester United does not condone violence of any kind. Greenwood was granted bail and was required to remain in his home Bowden near Old Trafford until his trial date. In an unexpected twist, Harriet Robson's family claimed her accounts were hacked and the photos and audio were never meant to be made public. These even went on to state they had no prior knowledge of anything before the posts were made and that he had been part of their family for two or three years. For eight months, the story seemed to go quiet as Greenwood was very rarely seen in public. However, on October 15th, 2022, Greenwood was arrested again for breaching his bail conditions as he allegedly contacted Harriet. The same day, he was charged with attempted rape for an alleged incident on the 22nd of October 2021, assault occasionally actual bodily harm for an alleged incident in December 2021, and engaging in controlling and coercive behaviour from November 2018. On the 17th of October 2022, Greenwood was initially remanded into custody until the 21st of November, but on the 19th of October, after a private hearing at Mintel Street Crown Court in Manchester, Mason was granted bail with conditions not to contact witnesses or Harriet herself, and to reside at his home in Bowden. Greenwood is set to appear in court on November 21st 2022 to face his allegations and it will be very interesting to see what else will be revealed in this Hero to Zero story. The vast majority of the United fan base is clear in their disgust of Greenwood's actions and sympathy for Harriet's suffering. However, despite the evidence seeming overwhelming, the question has been raised as to whether Manchester United should keep the young talent, should he be found not guilty, or how the club should act in response to Greenwood being found guilty, and whether they should allow the Englishman to return to the club after serving his sentence. What do you think? Is your mind made up on Greenwood, whether he's found guilty or not? Do you think Manchester United should terminate Greenwood's contract immediately, or wait till the outcome of the trial? You know what to do. Let us know in the comments below and join us next time as we explore another burning United fan question. Want to know who is the greatest player of all time in each position in Manchester United history? Click here. Or if you'd like to know why Manchester United fans hate Paul Pogba, click here.